Is AI already sentient? About a week ago, there was an announcement that one of the reasons why there was this big shuffling at OpenAI with Sam Altman leaving or being fired and then coming back again was that they may have discovered, actually discovered and leaked. And I said this as well, and people say poo-pooed it. They go, what are you talking about, Chris? This is not what happened. It was obviously this, or it was this. It was this. It was like, there was a scandal and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, no, I'll bet you anything. It had something to do with that leak. At some point, Sam Altman said something about AGI being achieved internally. And AGI is, of course, artificial general intelligence. And everyone's like, well, what do you mean by artificial general intelligence? Well, artificial general intelligence is an AI that can basically act just like us. That it can be as human as possible. It's not just a superannuated autocorrect like ChatGPT is. Superannuated autocorrect, like I've said many times before in previous shows, is that that's what ChatGPT is like. But AGI has been, has been achieved internally is what he said in a, in a tweet or in an ex post. And I'm thinking to myself, maybe that's the reason why there was, there was all this confuffle. Maybe what happened was that there was something that occurred internally within the company. Someone actually stumbled upon something that looked like AGI. I'm not sure if it's actual AGI, but something that looked like AGI. And now they're calling it QSTAR. What's with obsession with the word Q? A pack, even Amazon. With the letter Q, even Amazon announced their own chatbot called Q, which is a, supposedly some kind of workplace chatbot. We'll see how that works. But QSTAR is supposedly a sentient, not sentient, I don't know if you can call it sentient, because we don't even know, we can't even really define what sentience is. I mean, can you tell me, can you, can you, in the notes below, explain sentience to me? How we can de determine if AI is sentient or not. But supposedly... Sam Altman said something about AGI being achieved internally in an ex post or a tweet. And I said, maybe that's the reason why there was this shuffling. And there were all these other reasons that came up. And now it seems like the thing that is going that was the problem could have been that leak of AGI. Could have been that leak, that AGI leak, which is I said what it was the thing. Now, <laughs> I said this before by old show. But uh, I used to say all the time is, I am always right. I'm always right. I may be wrong at the time, but at some point, I will always be proven right. And maybe, this is, maybe I should start resurrecting that, that, that saying again, I am always right, right? Because what happens is I'll make a prediction, and then years later, the prediction happens. And in this case, it wasn't even years later. It was weeks later. The prediction happens, and nobody goes back and says, hey, Chris was right. He was right about this. I don't know about you guys, but I don't have to be right about it. I just, it feels good to me that something I said actually happens. And in fact, I think I mentioned to this before, it's like when I made some predictions in 2007, and by 2017, about half of them had already occurred. And like I say, I mean, where do I go? It's like, if you have a really good quote that you have created, and you think is really good, and you want people to say, hey, that's a really good quote, and I want to save that quote for somebody. I mean, how famous do you have to be to actually have a quote in one of those quotation softwares or quotation, quotation sites, like Brainy Quote or something like that? I mean, I think I've said a lot of things that are quotable, but I guess somebody else has to look at it and go, hey, you know, maybe that's a quotable thing. Like, for example, I always say, everything will happen. The only question is when. The, focusing on the importance of timing because timing is extremely important. Boy, I'm really going off track now. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, QSTAR and, and sentience. So if QSTAR really is AGI and they are debating, and this is what I th I'm wondering is, is what's happening, is that they are debating whether or not to release that to the world, to let the world know that they have achieved AGI or at least what they feel is AGI. Because AGI, if you ask me, can be many different things to many different people. Their definition of what AGI is may be very different when it comes out. And I have this feeling, I had this really strange feeling the other day when I was talking to the gentleman from originality.ai because he was talking about how they have developed a tool to determine whether something is AI or not. And they started with ChatGPT, but then they moved to other models. And they're seeing patterns in the 
output of all of these models. It doesn't matter what model it is, but it's it's see, they're seeing a pattern in output of all of these models, which can indicate that this output is AI generated. I thought to myself, if that's the case, if we are able to develop patterns, because I think you and I, human beings, we can look at something and go, that looks like it might be AI generated, even if it's not. We have this sense of being able to tell if something is AI generated or not. And if AI, if they've been able to develop an AI that can detect if something is AI generated across all of the different large language models, maybe there's something about LLMs that makes it, that's like a red flag or a watermark that will basically stop all development to AGI because we can't get past the, the limit of the large language model. So it may be, maybe what's happening is that we have another AI winter. We're on the doorstep of another AI winter when we can't get past the commonality of these large language models. Now, I don't know if this is the, the case or not, and I hope not because it might force people to decelerate. And if anything, we need to accelerate everything that we're doing. So hopefully, if they have reached AGI or whatever they feel AGI is, that they'll be able to release it to the world soon and we'll be able to know and see it for ourselves. That's it for me for today. See you next time. And until then, don't forget to think future.